Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Heyduk, and this is tip number 81, the many interfaces of Power Apps Portals. When building out Power Apps Portals, there are a number of different interfaces that you can use. Some of the most popular include the Portal Management Model Driven App, Portal Studio, the Legacy Frontside Editing Experience, and the XRM Toolbox. The Portal Management Model Driven App, which might also be named the Dynamics 365 Portals App in your environment if you're using it with Dynamics 365, is the original interface for building Power Apps Portals. It remains popular because it is still the only place to configure many of the advanced features of Power Apps Portals, like Entity Lists and Entity Forms. The Portal Studio is the newest interface, and this is where Microsoft has been focusing their recent efforts. With a similar look and feel to the interface for building Canvas apps, the Portal Studio is targeted at citizen developers who are making basic modifications. While it doesn't give you the ability to configure all the aspects of Power Apps Portals, many people find that the interface is more intuitive for doing things like creating pages and managing your theme. The legacy frontside editing experience allows you to manage your web pages, web link sets, and content snippets directly on your portal. When logged in as an administrator, you'll see edit buttons appear when you hover over those areas. While this functionality hasn't seen many updates recently, one thing that is great about it is that since it updates the data via the portal itself, there's no need to worry about clearing the cache. There are a number of tools for the XRM Toolbox that make life easier when working on Power Apps Portals. The one I use the most often is the Portal Code Editor. This is built by Tange Tuzard, who is also the author of the XRM Toolbox itself. This tool makes it easy to edit content, including HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, across entities like web pages, web files, web templates, content snippets, entity forms, entity lists, and web forms. It provides a single window with multiple tabs and is significantly faster than waiting for forms to load in the model-driven app. It also makes editing web files a breeze. Since this tool uses the CDS SDK to make the updates, make sure you are clearing the cache after making any changes. In subsequent tips, I'll dive deeper into each one of these interfaces. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portal tip number 81 on the many interfaces of Power Apps Portals useful.